We're talking today uh, with Lake Resources and their CEO, Steve Prominence. Uh, the company has just released some positive uh, results from battery testing with Navonics. Steve, what are the key takeaways for investors? The key takeaways are that our high purity product that we announced uh, October last year, our high purity product performs well in a standard configuration lithium ion battery, a 622. And not just well, it actually performs better than the sort of products that come from tier one producers. So it's a good result. We have to do more work to demonstrate that, but it's a very good result. Steve, with lithium prices rising strongly in recent months, and there's a, a growing focus on ESG issues, uh, do you believe your market position is only getting stronger? Lake is almost uniquely positioned to be able to deliver exactly what the market's looking for. So first of all, we need a lot more lithium just for the demand that's there. And we're fortunate that we can scale up because we've got a large project and other projects. We're fortunate as well because the product is high quality. That's what the battery makers want. But most importantly, the electric vehicle makers are now demanding a, an ESG benefit that the products that go into their batteries are responsibly sourced. Uh, and our product has a fundamentally uh, orders of magnitude, much smaller uh, impact on water usage, on land usage, and a small CO2 footprint. So they were very well positioned. These results that just come out with Novonics actually help us even more in establishing those long-term partnerships and relationships, because now we can show not only is that a high quality product, but we can show it works in the battery. And sometimes electric vehicle makers just want to make absolutely certain, you know, we're a new producer or a new potential producer. Um, so where I actually think that ourselves and a couple of other companies will stand out as we go forward more and more as there's more of a focus on both quality and ESG benefits. Steve, you mentioned there's plenty of news um, in the lithium sector uh, in general. Um, if you look offshore, there's you know, a stock called Stand in, Standard Lithium. Uh, Can Accord have just put a big price target on it, kind of values their project about 1.3 billion, but they seem to have some constraints on expansion. Lake, of course, owns 100% of their projects. You have four of them. Can you talk to the valuations in the market at present? Lake has really just been playing catch up now uh, because we were, well, the market saw us as come raise for most of last uh, calendar year and the year before, it was always difficult. So we've played a bit of catch up. Uh, but the great thing is, as you say, we, we've got a number of projects. The, the, our flagship project, RKG, is certainly scalable just on an as is basis. So when we did our pre feasibility study, uh, that was released in April 2020. We used a fairly conservative flat forward price of $11,000 a tonne. That was before we came out with our results showing that we've got very high purity uh, lithium, 99.97%. But even if we just put in pricing now, the NPV and uh, the EBITDA that the project produces goes up significantly. Let's just say, for example, we put in $15,500 a tonne, a slight premium to where we are at the moment. Then you're seeing NPVs north of one and a half billion post-tax. Uh, you're seeing EBITDA, uh, which is essentially your operational cash flow at half the actual capex on an annualized basis. I mean, this is starting to look pretty solid. Um, we're gonna be following up with a lot more news, uh, probably uh, something fairly soon around the financing of the project. And uh, those valuations are going to be important in that process. And it's also going to assist and support it. The fact that, um, that we are getting that financing or moving down that path. Uh, secondly, we'll be saying more about uh, partnerships moving forward. And, uh, and I think when we can come out with that, that will, also, uh, that will also help. It's one thing to have a good quality product, but we're trying to work, uh, as I mentioned before, with tier one players and actually be part of that whole supply chain going forward.